and that is going radians, degrees, degrees to radians. You don't need a formula sheet. I provided the conversion right there for you. One degree is pi over 180 radians and one radian 180 over pi degrees. All right, so I just want to practice converting. We've done this before, but I know it's not even close to fresh in your mind. 120 degrees, convert it to radians. So again, I'm given degrees and need radians. So I'm going to multiply 120 by pi over 180. And if you remember, most radians come with a pi in it. So I'm going to keep the pi there. And the only thing I'm going to ask you to do, just like I did first semester, reduce the fraction 120 over 180. Okay, this is not cross. Hey, hey, anybody see an equal sign here? No, so don't cross multiply. It's 120 pi over 180. And then I'm going to reduce that fraction. And I know, boy, calculators coming back out. Blow the dust off. There's some up here if you need them. So what are we looking at here? 120 degrees, the same as 2 pi over 3 radians. Yep, 2 pi over 3 radians. And we are going to go through this a lot quicker than we did first semester. 7 pi over 4. Now this is in radians, and I want to turn it to degrees. So I'm no longer going to multiply by pi over 180. I'm going to multiply by 180 over pi. And when I do that, what ends up canceling out? The pi's. That's why I do 180 over pi in the denominator. The problem we're on? Seven, yeah, 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 yeah. So the pi's, hey, the pi's will cancel out. So the only thing you're figuring out is 7 times 180 divided by 4. And how many degrees in 7 pi over 4 radians? 315. Now, quickly, everybody stop right now. Don't go on to the next one. We got to the point in the first semester where we did not have to do this conversion anymore. We got to the point where we knew that, I don't know if you remember, there were some basic ones that we just had practice using so many times, we just remembered them like that. Pi over 4, pi over 2, pi over 3. Anybody pi over 4? That was 45. Pi over 2 was 90. Pi over 3, 60. So in this case, you saw pi over 4, you thought 45 times 7, 315. So if we want to do it that way, we could as well. All right. So here, pi over 3, what are we thinking? 60 times negative 2 or 2. So this will be negative 100 and 20 degrees. If, hey, and I'm, I'm still, if you're still here and want to do one times 180 over pi, feel free. The pi's are still going to cancel out and you still will get negative 120. All right. I just say it was just a quicker process for some of you first semester that, oh, I know that's 60, so I multiply it by 2, I'm done. Anything you want to ask now before we start drawing them? which is more review. How do I draw an angle now? I have an angle of 145. Let's go over the whole quadrant thing again. Zero, what do we have? 90, 180, and 270. What if I started going clockwise now? It would be negative 90, yep. Negative 180, and negative 270. So where is 145 going to be here? Quadrant two. Do you remember where one side always lied? I don't even know if that's proper gram. On the x-axis. And, all right, even for more bonus here, anybody remember what that side was called? The blank? Oh, God. This is my heart is aching. The side that's on the x-axis is the initial side. Everyone very close. Yep, very close. Initial side. Yeah. All right. And you just told me 145 is in quadrant two. Uh, and again, 
I don't need exactness, but be in the ballpark. Is it going to be closer to 180 or closer to 90? 180, all right. So I want to make sure this side, which is called my terminal side. You said theta first. When I'm at, what side is that? That's my theta side. Anybody still not complete yet? <laughs> Allie? Because I don't know if it's going clockwise or counterclockwise, this angle. So you got to show me it's going in that direction. Yes. <laughs> Theta is just another, it's a, vari it's a variable, like x, y, z. Usually it's a, it's a variable that means an angle. Okay, so hey, here you go. If I wanted to rewrite this question, I could say theta equals 145. Okay, negative 30. What? All right, hey, let's just get through this. Negative 30, where am I? Quadrant four, closer to negative 90 or zero. All right, make it look like it. And now make sure you tell me we're going in a clockwise direction by your rotational arrow. All right, let's keep grinding here, 295. Quadrant four, okay. Closer to 270 or 360? Closer to 270. Again, initial side always on the x-axis, terminal side in the quadrant. And is this clockwise or counterclockwise? Oh boy. There you go. And we can do the same thing with radians. What's it a good idea before I start graphing anything? Maybe find out what it is in degrees. All right. So two ways. You could multiply it by 180 over pi, or this is how I'm going to treat you guys because you're juniors and seniors here. Pi over six. 30 times negative 5, negative 150. That's pretty impressive, huh? All right, what quad am I in here? Quadrant 3, closer to negative 90 or negative 180? Okay. Not bad for some old timers, haven't done this in a while, nice. Clockwise or counterclockwise rotation? Oh, whoa, five. Pi over eight. Ooh, don't know that one off the top of my head. Sorry, don't know that one. So I am going to have to multiply by what conversion? 180 over pi. It happens. They're not all going to be the basic ones. Go ahead, go ahead, cross out the pies. Yeah, I know. 292.5, yeah. What quadrant am I in? 292.5. Quadrant four. All right, just take a little peek. Closer to 270 or 360. We're going to be closer to 270. There's no pinwheel on this one and a counterclockwise rotational arrow. Guys, are we all good here? Because I got to get to one more review topic that we did. And I heard this term already. Co-terminal now. Co-terminal. Here's what I'm looking for, an angle with a positive and a negative measure that's coterminal. Let me, don't, do not write anything down. Let me just review with you quickly what coterminal means. Quickly, where's fifth, where, what quadrant am I in for 50 degrees? Okay, quadrant one. So here you go. Here's a quick sketch. It's closer to 90. There's 50 degrees. Everyone agree? Coterminal is, give me another angle that's got that same terminal side. What's one way, Hannah? Go all the way around and add 360 to it. 
So 50 plus 360. An angle that's coterminal with 50 would be 410 degrees. How do I find a negative version of it now? Subtract 360. And a negative angle that has the same terminal side, what do we have there? Negative 310? Okay. What, Matt? Yeah. I, I just didn't want you to do the graph. I'm, I'm just visual. I wanted a visual for you guys to see what, actually what I'm asking for with coterminal. Same terminal side. You see where we're looking there, Matt? Okay, that's fine. Sorry. Here, this is what I need down right there. Okay. You good, son? Never say that again. That's so creepy. All right, what about 580 now? 580? You gonna? Are we still gonna add 360? Is that all right? Hey, I, there is infinite amount of answers you could give me. You could always. Oh, okay. I could add 360 or Jack. What are you about to say? Subtract 360. Is that still gonna give me a positive angle? Both are correct. That'll give me two different positive angles, yes. Adding 360 or even, does everyone see why subtract 360 would still give you a positive angle? So whatever floats your boat here. I didn't, can somebody help me there? I didn't add 360, I subtracted it, so. 940, wow. Okay, can I get some help? Find a negative angle that's coterminal now. So I guess, okay, now I'll subtract 360, but that's still not going to help me. Calm down. I'm going to get 220 out. Keep subtracting 360. And that would end up being negative 140. We're doing all right. Okay, now we go to radians, pi over 6. I always like to work in degrees. I'll turn it back into radians at the end. Pi over 6, 30 times 5. This, this is a buck 50, right? Okay, find a positive coterminal angle with 150. So I'm going to add 360, and that'll be... 570. Now to turn it back into radians, because if you're if the question started in radians, your answer has to end there too. Yeah, I have 510. Who said 570? I don't think I did. Stop. Stop. We'll have to review the tape later. Got the little rewind there. 510. All right, hold on. Got to turn that back into radians. So you can multiply by pi over 180, or we're doing what? Multiples of what was pi over 6? 30. How many times does 30 go into 510? Let's figure that out quick. 30 into 510. 17. 17. So what can I change this into real quick into radians? 17 pi over 6. Because I knew already it was a multiple of 30. Oh my God, what, Hannah? No. Your, what did your question start in? Radiance. So your answer's got to end in radiance. I know, I'm asking so much this second semester. So much. All right? Why don't you just go jump ship and see if that vest actually works? All right? Bon voyage. All right? See you later. All right? So now the negative version. Negative 360. Minus 360. What do we end up with here? Negative 210. And again, to convert that back into radians, I know we're working with 30 degrees. 30 into 210. So negative 7 pi over 6. Pi over 3, again 60 times negative 7. 
Negative 420. I'll let you guys find a positive and a negative now. Find a positive and a negative. That'll be your negative version. Yeah, both are correct. Yep. Okay, here you go. Somebody let me know. What did you get for a negative version? Negative 60? Or you could have negative 60 or what was another version? Negative 780? Okay, either one. All right, I'll, I have negative 60 on my answer key here, so I'll keep that. And I know that's the same as negative pi over 3. What would you get for a positive coterminal angle? 300. 300? Yep. And how many times does uh, 60 go into 300? Five times, so that would be 5 pi over 3. Anything right now, ask away here. What's, you all right, Hannah? Because this is the new stuff coming up right now. Anything right now. How I'm doing this so quickly. Go ahead, Austin, go. The radical? Okay, ready? Pi over 3 is the same thing as 60. So I know I'm dealing with increments of 60 degrees. So I said to myself, Austin, I got out 300 degrees. How many times is 60 going to 300? Five times. So that's why I did 5 pi over 3, which is 60. We okay? Sure? Do another one or you're right? We'll go back, ready? Go to this one. I got, see how I got 510. And at the beginning of the problem, I knew I was dealing with pi over 6, which we know is 30 degrees. So it's got to be increments of 30. So I said, how many 30s go into 510? And there were 17 of them. So 17, and I just kept the 30 there. Good? All right, we're ready to go here. Yeah, buddy, we're ready to go. You guys know how to graph these on what's called a rectangular grid. That's what you've been dealing with your whole life, on the rectangular grid. And you guys know how to graph these. Now, and this is the point of the whole unit here, we're going to start graphing these on what's called the polar grids. Okay? A polar graph. I know. There's nothing on there. This is unbelievable. Nothing. Okay? Nothing. But... Let me start you off easy. We're going to start with the degree one here. Everybody, even though this looks totally different than what we've been dealing with, do you see your rectangular grid here? It's there, isn't it? It's still right there. Everyone agree? So guess what's still here? 90 degrees is still here. And now what's going to be here now? Still 180, 270, and we're back to 0, 360. But now I got a little extra in between. And they're all in, they're all spaced out evenly. How many times? Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six from 0 to 90. So each of these are going to go by. There's not 90 degrees total, and there's six of these here. So I'm going to go by 15s, 15 degrees, 30, 45, 60, and 75. Let's keep rolling around. Let's keep rolling. That came out wrong. 
<laughs> I'm going to have to redo this six period. <laughs> Just so many things going on. So many things. All right. Next up after 90 will be 105. Just have your calculator out. Keep adding 15. So I have 105. I have 120. I have 135. 150. Buck 65. 180. And then I'm going to 195. 210, 225, 240, 255, 285 after 270, 300, 315, 330, and 345, and then we're back to 360. There you go. Increments of 15 degrees. And I know you know the answer already. I'll still ask, what if I started going negative? Negative 15, right? Negative 30 and so on. Same, same rules. I'm also still going to have you use this polar grid in radians. Okay, so I just want to go around quickly, and, and now you're like, ooh, ooh, radians, yikes, yikes. Watch, it's not going to be that bad. It's not going to be that bad. It's fine. Quickly, we're going by what again? Increments of 15. So I need to know what 15 degrees is in radians before I start anything. So don't say a word. You got, we converted at the beginning of class today. So if you have to look back, look back. All right. Look back. And I need everyone to convert 15 degrees into radians so I can start labeling all the points. So 15 degrees times pi over 180. Please find what it is in lowest terms. So what are we finding? Pi over, pi over 12. So that's what I'm going to start here with. And I'm going to take my time, make sure everyone's with me here. So I'm going to go pi over 12. Now I'm at 30. We know that one. Pi over 6. Forty-five, sixty, pi over, ooh, seventy-five. Now some of you are like, this guy, I have to convert all these now. No, watch, watch. And I've done this with you first semester before. Ready? What did I start out with? One pi over 12. Now I'm going to go 2 pi over 12. What did I just end up doing, though? Reduced it. This is 3 pi over 12. And what did I reduce it to? Pi over 4. So ready? 1, 2, 3, 4. What's 75 going to be then? 5 pi over 12. Can you reduce that? Nope. So I'm going to leave it 5 pi over 12. What was 90 again? 6 pi over 12, right? Which just reduces down to pi over 2. All right, I'm at 6. Now where? 7 pi over 12. Will that reduce? Nope. Next up, and this is all we're going to go around the circle of going by pi over 12s. 8 pi over 12. You can reduce that. 8 pi over 12. 8 pi over 12, 2 pi over 3, 7, 8, 9, 9 and 12 reduce, 3 pi over 4. 
Hey, are we okay what I'm doing here? I'm doing going by 12s and reducing if I can. So what am I up to here? 7, 8, 9, 10 pi over 12. 5 pi over 6. 11 pi over 12. Leave it. Oh, hey, 12 pi over 12. It's 180. It's pi, yep. Back in the day. So I'm at 12 right now. Now I'm at 13 pi over 12. Not going to be reduced. Let's just keep this train going quick here so I can get finished here. Four, yep, 14 pi over 12. 7 pi over 6. Nice job. 13, 14. Now I'm at 15. 5 pi over 4. 16. 16 over 12. Ooh, you guys are thinking today, huh? I see there's just the brains being just punished. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 pi over 12. That's not doing a darn thing. 18 pi over 12. 19, nothing, right? Okay, finish strong in the fourth quadrant. 20 over 12. 20 over 12, 5 pi over 3, 7 pi over 4. I'll just finish this. I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to punish you anymore here. 11 pi over 6, 23 pi over 12, and then we end up where? 24 pi over 12, which is 2 pi, okay? All good. So now all I'm going to do is those same angles I had you graph on the coordinate grid, now we're going to graph on the polar grid now. And that's how we're going to finish today up. So graph up, oh, there's theta now. There you go, everyone. Back to theta. Graph 105 on the polar grid. I just got to find where 105 is. Well, here's how I'm just letting you guys, uh, how I approach this, and maybe you'll pick up too and like it. I don't know, or find your own way. 105, I'm thinking that's close to 90. And I know where 90 is, boom, right up here, right? And then I start, and it goes by what again? 15s. So if that's 90, what's the next one? 105. So that'll keep you from flipping back and forth here, just like that, yes. All right? How do I graph that now? Same way you graphed it on the rectangular grid. Initial side is at zero. And the terminal side will go to 105. And you still have to show me direction. So now all we're really doing is just getting more exact. All right. Ooh, oh, sorry, guys. Negative 300. So here you go. Negative 300. So what do we got? Negative 90, negative 180. I'll just write it down. Here's negative 270. What would the next one be then? Negative 285, and then would come negative 300. Yep. And that's all you need to show me. You don't, I, I am absolutely not going to require you to label everything. That's ridiculous. And then your arrow would be going in a clockwise direction because it's negative. Questions? And are we ending that? Oh, we got a couple more. 240? Find 240. Go ahead. Locate 240 on the grid. You know 180, you know where 180 is, so just start going by 15s from there. Or you know 270 and start going backwards, whatever floats your boat. 
So 255, then 240. Okay, so I hit you with a pi. Yeah, I hit you with a radian here. Ten pi over twelve. You guys already know they go by pi over twelves, right? That right? They go by. So ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Have a good day. Too much whining in here. Got to get on the phone and get the ambulance over here. Anybody? Yeah, I know. Great, Matt. Nobody cares. What if it's not a pi over 12? What if it's not a pi over 12? Two things, two different ways. You can convert it into degrees and find out exactly where it is. Or it goes by pi over 12s, right? So what could you multiply the 2 by? 6. six multiply the 3 by 6. What are we looking for? OK, let me, let me regroup here. Stop. Two different ways I could approach this. You convert this into degrees and then find where you are. Or you know everything goes by pi over 12. So if I want to change the 2 into a 12, what do I multiply this by? 6, top and bottom. Now what would it be? Negative 18 pi over 12. And it is negative, so i got to go clockwise, right? So you could keep going. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. All right? Or again. Convert it into degrees. Little help. Pi over 2 is what? Pi over 2? That's 90 times 3. Negative 270. So whatever's easier for you guys. Is it easier to find negative 270 or to count to 18? I don't know. You make that decision. All right? So I'm going to be right here. That's negative 3 pi over 12. going that way because it's clockwise right because it's negative and then finally 7 pi over 4 convert do we have like a class decision about do we convert it into degrees or do we just make it into a pi over 12 okay either one I uh, I'll convert I'll keep it So that's 21 pi over 12. And if you remember, we went all the way around. There's 24, right? We go all the way around and we counted to 24, so I can go backwards. 20, I'm sorry, 23, 22, 21. 7 pi over 4. So if you are out tomorrow, no excuse. Get it done over the weekend, please, and show me on Monday. All right.